This officer leads float number nine. Sign a woman. Origins of Mardi Gras stretch back for hundreds of years. It began as a pagan holiday celebrating the winter solstice, until Christians incorporated it into Easter. This is found video footage of Mardi Gras celebrations in New Orleans, Louisiana, in 1956. The name of the person who filmed this historic video is unknown. My name is Marta Ray. My father, John Woodward Mizenko, was in this crowd shooting photos. I was going through a cabinet full of his slides in 2008 when I came across a batch labeled Mardi Gras 1956. It was as though I had found a gift from him, a time capsule. He shot these photos along the Mid-City Route and on Canal Street in front of Miller World's department store, which is no longer there. That year, film actress and New Orleans native Dorothy L'Amour had returned to her hometown in time to participate in the Mardi Gras Adonis Parade. Women were not seen in public without gloves and hats. You could rent a TV set for $2 a week. And the longest bridge in the world, the Pontchartrain Causeway, would open that year. My father was born in the small town of Covington, Louisiana in 1921. He was a chemical engineer, inventor, and builder. He worked for big oil companies and was a ham radio operator. I knew he loved Mardi Gras, but what I didn't know until I discovered these photos was how much he loved photography. That year, the Mid-City crew chose Magic as the theme for its 19th parade. Founded in 1933 by business owners on Canal Street, Mid-City is one of the oldest crews. These are groups that organize a parade for the carnival season. Mid-City always used aluminum foil to construct their floats, and they were the first to introduce animation. Boy Scouts pedaled bikes hooked up to cables and gears underneath. The Venus crew, the first all-women's crew, chose the theme Opera Favorites that year. The crew's founding members were local businesswomen. They were proud to parade without assistance or funding from men. At their first parade in 1941, crowds hurled tomatoes and rotten eggs at them. Until then, female figures on floats had always been represented by men. This film was shot close to where my father was taking photos. I keep looking for his face in the crowds. His work in the oil companies exposed him to toxic chemicals for decades, chemicals that caused the cancer which would take his life. He discovered he had lymphoma in 1990. He died a year later in 1991. These photographs celebrate his memory. Even though I haven't yet found his face in those crowds, these photos express the joy he took in capturing the spirit of Mardi Gras and its wonderful celebration of life. Yeah.